Good afternoon, Southside. Welcome to the first edition of Hot TV for the 2019 fall semester. I'm Autumn Williams. And I'm Shania Forrest. On this edition, we'll hear from Principal Tucker about the new football stadium. When will it be completed? We don't know. We'll also visit with members of the AV production program to find out about their lives outside of media, plus your Hot TV weather report and much more. Don't go anywhere because Hot TV starts now. Our football team is scheduled to host USJ on Friday. That's today. But will construction of the new stadium be completed in time? Hawks TV reporter Kelly Torres toured the new stadium with Ms. Tucker and gave us a deeper look into the new stadium project. Last school year, Southside said goodbye to the football stadium that has been a part of Southside history since the early 70s and is now saying hello to a new modified stadium. According to Ms. Tucker, the prices of both Southside and Northside stadiums combined hit the seven-figure mark. I believe this was a $3 million project to start out with. Mm -hmm. uh, how much it's going to cost totally, I do not know. The stadium has many new and updated features, including a 2,000-person capacity that are enough to excite any spectator. The new atmosphere over here, the new building, the new stands, the track, uh, the new scoreboard, it's all exciting. I mean, just something that I guess I never realized that we would be able to have, but it is a top-notch facility, and we're very excited about it. Many are excited to see the Hawks play in the new stadium for the first time this Friday. We are having a ribbon cutting Friday afternoon at 3 o'clock. Now, will it all be complete? There will be some things, little, small, minor things we have to do, but we will be open and ready for our first home ball game Friday. For Hawk TV, I'm Kelly Torres. Thanks, Kelly. Come out tonight and support our Hawks versus USJ at 7 o'clock. Here's a preview. Excuses or expectations. There's not enough room in the locker room for both. You can expect to win or you can make excuses for failure. Are we outmanned? Are we too young? Do we have what it takes to be the best in this city? To be the best in this region? All of those questions will answer themselves when we expect to win. If we are successful, the season will be long and it will be difficult. Encourage your teammate because he is your brother. Expect greatness from him. Demand greatness from him. We will find success and we will find it together. Excuses or expectations? There's not enough room for both. Your books are now on sale for $65 until October 1st. Visit yearbookforever.com to make your purchase. The price will go up in October, so buy one. There are several new teachers at Southside this year. Hawk TV reporter Samari Morrow introduces us to one of those new teachers. There are several new faces at Southside this year. I sat down with Mr. Brent Hanemar to discuss his view on the school. Southside is a really good school. Uh, I came here from Liberty and all the staff are really helpful, really nice, uh, have come down and just welcomed me and uh, have made me feel really good to be here. Mr. Heinemeyer has taught business management for several years. Teaching now for seven years. This is my seventh year in teaching and uh, I really enjoyed teaching the, uh, the, the courses, uh, IT, business and marketing courses that I teach. He told us what separates Southside from other schools. Southside is a community school, and anytime you go into a community school, you're gonna see more pride in the students, the more pride in the faculty, and you see this by uh, the students wearing uh, more gear that promotes the school, and you also see this uh, at the football games, basketball games, people show up and show out to uh, support 
uh, the students, and the school. For Hawk TV, I'm Samari Mar. Thanks, Samari. The Hawk TV production class started the semester by interviewing their classmates. We learned several exciting things about many people, including Shania Forrest. Gerilyn Moon has that story. Shania Forrest is a junior at Southside High School. She enjoys cheering for the basketball team. Forrest has been cheering for going on three years now. I am a basketball cheerleader at Southside High School. Forrest says they are practicing stunts and teaching cheers to the new cheerleaders right now. Right now we are working on our stunts and we are also working on teaching the new people cheers. Forrest's favorite stunt is called a full down. My favorite stunt is a full down. It's my favorite because I'm a flyer and I'm the one that's getting thrown in the air and they have to spin me down backwards. Yes, you have to have a lot of trust in each other and everybody has to communicate. Forrest enjoyed going to the water park with her friends this summer. This summer, my friends Adrian Comer and Autumn Williams, we went to Kentucky to a water park. For Hawk TV, I'm Geraldyn Moon. We'll be right back after this commercial break. Whoa! No running in the hallway! Gotta think fast. Welcome back. Now here is Faith Mills with this week's weather forecast. Hello, Southside. I'm Faith Mills with your Hawk TV weather report. Intense heat across West Tennessee last week forced football teams in Jackson to change up their practice schedules. For safety reasons, our team held a practice at 4 a.m. one day and then 9 p.m. another day. The heat index was in the mid-100s and the high was 107, but the temperatures were much cooler this week. In fact, it rained across much of West Tennessee on Monday. Now let's take a look at your five-day forecast. Today's high is 89 with a low of 64. There is a 10% chance of rain. Saturday, the high is 91 and the low is 64. We don't expect rain on Saturday. Sunday, the high is 90 with a low of 67. Sunny temps and clear skies should last throughout the weekend. Monday, when we return to school, you may want to wear shorts. The high will be 90 with a low of 67. Winds will be light and variable with a 20% chance of rain overnight. Tuesday, the UMV index will be 9 out of 10, meaning there is a high risk of harm from unprotective sun exposure. So wear a hat and sunscreen if you're going to be outside walking your dog or your best friend or both. With your Hawk TV forecast, I'm Faith Mills. Now, Levi Corcaras join us, joins us for a quick Spanish lesson in his latest edition of Petrolite, -like, but like... Welcome back. Football season has started, so in today's episode, we'll learn how to say sports names in Spanish. Let's get started. Deportes, sports. Football, football americano. Soccer, football. Baseball, baseball. Basketball, baloncesto. Juegas football? Do you play soccer? ¿Te gusta el football americano? Do you like football? A mí no me gusta el baloncesto. I don't like basketball. ¿Tienes una pelota de béisbol? Do you have baseball? A ti, ¿qué deportes te gustan? What sports do you like? That's it for today's episode. 